Welcome back, everyone. It's um, Helen Ford, CEO of Jesuit Mission, and I'm here with Father Trung, and we're delighted to welcome you all back to uh, another series of the first spiritual exercises in the field hospital. Um, thank you very much for all the feedback that you gave us. It was very encouraging. And um, our plan is to do a, an exercise every month within our newsletter. So be sure to, to look out for it in your, in your mailboxes and um, we look forward to continuing the journey with you. I'm gonna pass over to Father Trung now because um, today is St Ignatius Feast Day. Um, so I'll ask Father Trung to talk a little bit more about that. Thank you, Helen, and welcome back everyone to our first spiritual exercise uh, firstly, happy feast day of St. Ignatius. Uh, today, uh, oh, we, the Society of Jesus celebrate our founder. And for St. Ignatius, one of the most important grace that he always encouraged us to ask for is the grace of consolation. In the spiritual exercise, that word is often used. And it's very closely linked to the word comfort. Um, and especially during this time, of the pandemic where we are uh, find ourselves being isolated uh, um, in, uh, living in sorrow or stress I think we need all the uh, consoling and all the comfort that we need for one another and so today the first spiritual exercise the theme for today is accepting comfort so I would like to invite you now to find a comfortable space uh, relax and let us begin uh, by making the sign of reverence to our God in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We just pause for a brief moment uh, to listen to some music to help us uh, focus. I touch the spirit of comfort. I hold a leaf or bud of new growth from a plant or tree, symbol of comfort and new life. For recovery from pain or loss in any form. I consider how the best comfort just seeks to be with the other to awaken a tender heart to live again, to clean the scars, lessen the fears, and encourage hope. This is the comfort I desire. I remember a small story of being comforted when I really needed it. <clears throat> If praying alone, I hold that memory. If I'm praying in a group, I share it with them, listening in turn to their stories, feeling touched by the spirit of comfort. I see how God, the comforter, and those God works through, he is so needed in these times of loss, pain and tears.
desire. I desire comfort and hope. I prayerfully listen to the prayer text. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope. Comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing that, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison as though you were in prison with them. Those who are being tortured as though you yourselves were being tortured. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? How do I manage my pain? First, I name everything I desire to be comforted in. Then I ask the Spirit for deep, enduring comfort, for healing of mind and body, for new life in my tender, bruised heart. I breathe in the spirit of comfort. I imagine the spirit addresses me by name, saying, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. I imagine and feel the spirit of comfort breathing strength, hope, companionship, and courage into me. I breathe these gifts in deep. I wait, then breathe them out to flow through my heart. And the hearts of all those who are alone, forlorn, without comfort. I repeat this as desired, breathing, comforted, renewed.
I end in thanks, considering two questions. Firstly, if possible, how might I make contact and reconnect with the person who comforted me? Secondly, to whom and how do I pass on this exercise? Who is urgently in need of comfort now? And we conclude by asking the Spirit of God to bless you and console you and keep you, uh, keep you safe during this time. So may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much and happy feast day of St. Ignatius again. And happy St. Ignatius Day from me and the rest of the team at Jesuit Mission. And um, we look forward to uh, you joining us next month as well. Take care.